The second uh, open-ended question in the 2018 National 5 paper um, is question 7, and it talks about a filament lamp, which is a thin coil of resistance wire surrounded by a low-pressure gas enclosed in a glass bulb. Using your knowledge of physics, comment on the suitability of this design as a light source. So this is quite a difficult um, question to answer, and there were a couple of things that you could focus on. Uh, one being the thin coil of resistance wire, and the second being the low pressure gas. And one why is this thin uh, a thin coil, and then why is the pressure in the gas low? So let's focus on each of these in turn. So first of all, the low pressure gas. Um, well, we all know from the gas laws that if a gas is heated, then the pressure rises. Um, and so the key thing here is this will, uh, this filament wire will heat up. It'll start to glow um, very hot, and as it heats up, it will heat the gas as well. And so the key thing is you do not want that gas to become a high-pressure gas, because if it were a high-pressure gas, then the bulb itself, the glass, might break. And so you must try and explain here then that as the gas is heated, that will cause the pressure to rise, but... And the key thing here is but, because it's a low pressure gas, that means that the pressure will not get too high, um, will not increase to blow the bulb. And that's the first thing to try and make clear. It's quite easy to suggest, well, it could blow the bulb. It's very unlikely to blow the bulb because it's a low-pressure gas. Okay, so the second thing is the thin coil of resistance wire. Now, the important thing here is that a thin uh, wire means um, high resistance. And high resistance means that it will heat up. And when it heats up, it will also emit light. Okay, it's very tempting to say, well, it's a it's a it's a thin coil, which means it's a high resistance, which means you'll not have a lot of current flowing through it. Well, actually, that's not the point at all. You want a good amount of current flowing through it so that it heats up, and produces light, and so it is suitable as a light source because of the fact that it's got a high resistance and therefore it will glow red hot as the electrons try to travel through it and keep bouncing into the, um, the the wire itself. And so if you talk about the electrons and the physics of what's happening there to cause that heat to be produced and therefore light to be emitted, then that's a good way to display your knowledge of physics. The final thing here that is very tempting to talk about is the fact that this is not an energy efficient light bulb. It's producing a lot of heat and not a lot of light. But saying that on its own, without the stuff about the gas pressure, and without the uh, resistance wire being, being high and therefore producing heat whenever the electrons travel through and bounce into the atoms, without those things, it's really a limited understanding. And so just to say that it's not a very um, suitable bulb because it produces heat and not light would maybe only really give you one mark.